Okay, Eric, can you tell us your impressions from the place? Okay, on uh, May 4th and then again on May 8th, I made um, an evaluation of the lighting at Hotel Tuareg at Lacacao Beach in Boa Vista. And um, I examined the lights from various locations on the beach. When I do a lighting evaluation, I look for two things. One is, is the source of light or a reflective surface of the light visible from anywhere on the beach? If it is, then it has the potential to cause problems for sea turtles. I also look to see if the lights, either single lights or cumulatively, illuminate the beach. Again, if, if these lights are illuminating the beach, then it's likely that they will cause turtles to be disoriented. So with, with that in mind, I made my evaluation of the Hotel Tuareg, and I found a number of lights that were visible from the beach, and also found that the beach was illuminated by the lights of the hotel. Now there are a, a series of different types of lights at the hotel. Uh, there are lights that are used to illuminate walkways around the hotel area. These were taller lights, approximately seven feet high, and um, they're visible from the beach mainly because of their height. I think that if those lights were lowered, um, then they would probably not be visible from the beach. Uh, something else that could be done with those lights is that they could be shielded. A shield could be placed over the lights so that they're directed downward towards the walkways where the light is needed, but then the light is blocked from the beach by these shields. Uh, there were also some lights at one of the dining rooms. There's an outdoor terrace style dining room near uh, the, the main swimming pool at the hotel. The lights um, are wall mounted lights primarily, but a few ceiling mounted lights as well. And because of the nature of those lights, uh, the, the bare bulb itself is visible from the beach and there are numerous lights, so the cumulative effect of all of those lights uh, would be detrimental to sea turtles. And there are a number of ways that those lights could be corrected. Each individual light could be shielded so that the bulb is not visible from the beach. Uh, another method that could be used would be to place a light screen along the seaward perimeter of the hotel. This would have to be erected at an elevation high enough so that all of those lights would be blocked from the beach. So this is another method that we see for trying to correct these lights. Hmm. There were also some individual lights, um, just one or two here or there, but, but relatively bright lights um, that were visible from the beach because the bulb was not completely shielded. It was partially shielded, but again, the, the bulb was visible from the beach, so we know that it would cause problems for turtles. Hmm. Uh, there were a pretty large number of lights that were visible from the beach, and this is really throughout the hotel, from all the way from the east end to the west end. So the, the potential for problems to sea turtles will be pretty large on that beach that's directly seaward of the hotel. So we're hoping to, to work with the hotel to try to institute some of these modifications to the light so that they'll still have all the light they need for safety and security, but yet that light will be blocked from the beach so it doesn't cause any problems to the turtles.